Hi, welcome to Lightspeed English and the Gordon's Diaries, not the Gordon's Diaries, two Gordon's Diaries. Okay, today I'm going to talk very briefly about a very important subject and that is learning a language. Okay, now let me tell you just a little bit about my language learning. I have spent the last 17 years learning Spanish, okay? 17 years and I've been obsessive about it and I've done it every day for 17 years, more or less. Yeah, I would say every day for 17 years. Now, the important thing to understand is that even though I've been learning for 17 years, still today, sometimes, I become very frustrated with my Spanish, very frustrated, even embarrassed. And sometimes I am very, very proud of my Spanish. I think it's fantastic. I'm amazed at how I can explain myself and uh, describe things and control the language. And then other times, disaster, nightmare the simplest of sentences and uh, and I don't know what happens. It just goes all wrong. Why? Because I think there are lots of things that depend on your performance. Or there's lots of things that your performance depends on, better said. If you were talking about something you're comfortable with, something that you know a subject that's very, very close to your heart, then it's very easy to talk mm, and the words just flow. This is what I find. What I find is if I'm talking about a new subject, something I'm not quite sure about, then maybe I don't have the vocabulary, maybe I don't have the verbs and I feel uncomfortable talking about it and that uncomfortableness makes me make errors, commit errors, okay? So, it depends on the subject. It also, I think, your ability to speak depends on whether you are busy up here. If you have many things in your mind, if you're distracted, if you're worried, then sometimes your communication's not good in both languages but especially if you're speaking English and you're trying to say some things in English, but you're worried about something or you, you have lots of things to do, sometimes it doesn't come out well, okay? So really there, there are times when, when you are relaxed that you can really speak well. And there are times when you're actually anxious or nervous, you don't speak well. It doesn't mean that your English is no good it just means that in that moment you weren't at your best. So, um, one of the ways that you can become fluent in English is by drinking alcohol. Okay? Most people, after two drinks, one drink, two drinks, become very chatty. And the words just flow and everything's wonderful and everybody expresses themselves really well. Then on the third drink, fourth drink, everything goes bad. Okay, because we're too drunk. Why does that happen? For the same reason. Alcohol makes us relaxed. And so being relaxed, we then can express ourselves in a better way. Our mind functions better and we're not worried about making mistakes. And this is the key thing. One of the problems that makes us make mistakes is this anxiety about making mistakes. Sometimes we don't want to speak in case we say the wrong thing. Well, I'm here to tell you that you must make errors to learn. Learning is not done through your successes but rather through your mistakes, through your errors. Because when we make an error, that's the thing that we review over and over again. Right, what would I say? 
This is the system you use. You make an error or you say something and you think, I didn't like what I said. The next time, what would I say that would be better? What could I say that would be more correct? How could I express myself better? And by reviewing those errors, that's how we actually improve. That's how we program ourselves for the future. When we do something correctly, we really don't know. It doesn't make an impact. Okay, so don't worry if you have spent many years learning English and still you feel frustrated. I do. Okay, learning a language is a lifetime's work. It's a project for your life. It isn't, it doesn't have an end, I don't believe. There's no limit to learning language. I am still learning English. I still learn new words. And so it's never over. So don't worry about, I'm not there, why am I not there, why am I not fluent yet? Just keep going and you will get there. And don't worry about frustration. Frustration is part of learning, always. If there is no frustration, you're probably not working hard enough. Okay? So, see you later. I hope that's helped. Bye-bye.